Timeline of Russian innovation encompasses key events in the history of technology in Russia, starting from the early East Slavs and up to the Russian Federation. The entries in this timeline fall into the following categories Indigenous inventions, like airliners, AC transformers, radio receivers, television, artificial satellites, ICBMs Products and objects that are uniquely Russian, like St. Basil's Cathedral, Matryoshka dolls, Russian vodka Products and objects with superlative characteristics, like the Tsar Bomba, the AK-47, and Typhoon-class submarine Scientific and medical discoveries, like the periodic law, vitamins, and stem cells. This timeline examines scientific and medical discoveries, products, and technologies introduced by various peoples of Russia and its predecessor states, regardless of ethnicity, and also lists inventions by naturalized immigrant citizens. Certain innovations achieved by a national operation may also may be included in this timeline, in cases where the Russian side played a major role in such projects. Early East Slavs Baked milk – Ryazenka Baked milk is made by simmering milk on low heat for eight hours or longer. The product has a light brown color, a specific taste and the ability to be stored safely at room temperature for up to 40 hours, much longer than most milk-based beverages. It has been produced since ancient times, typically using a Russian oven. Nowadays it is produced on an industrial scale. Soured or fermented baked milk, traditionally known as ryazinka, is especially popular in Russia. Banya A banya is a traditional Russian wet steam bath, where bathing takes place inside special rooms or standalone wooden houses, with steam being produced by splashing water upon a heated furnace. Historically, the banya developed simultaneously with its closest relative, the Finnish sauna. However, modern saunas converted to dry steam, while banyas continue to use wet steam. Banya temperatures may exceed 110 degrees Celsius, and people often hit themselves or others with bunches of dried branches and leaves from white birch, oak or eucalyptus in order to improve their circulation. It is customary to cool off outdoors or splash around in cold water, or even in a lake or river. In the winter, people may roll in the snow or jump into the water through holes in the ice. After two or three sessions of sweating and cooling off, the ritual ends with drinking beverages or tea, playing games or relaxing in good company in an antechamber off the steam room. Blini Blini are thin pancakes made with yeast. Blin comes from Old Slavic mlin, that means, to mill. Russian blini are made with yeasted batter, which is left to rise. It is then diluted with cold or boiling water or milk. Blini may have originated in the time of the Slavic unity, and they had a somewhat ritual significance for the early Slavs in pre-Christian times, since they were a symbol of the sun due to their round form. Blini were traditionally prepared at the end of the winter to honor the rebirth of the new sun butter week, or Maslenitsa. This tradition was adopted by the Orthodox Church and is carried on to the present day. Many people follow a simpler method of mixing flour, milk, sugar, egg, oil, and vanilla, with no yeast. They are eaten folded or rolled with a meat mixture or with jam, honey or any sweet condiment. Gusli The gusli is the oldest type of Slavic and Russian multi-string plucked instrument. Preserved instruments discovered by archaeologists have between five and nine strings, in one case even twelve. Gusli may have derived from a Byzantine form of the Greek kythare and have a number of relative instruments, like the Finnish kantele. The first mention of Gusli dates back to 591 AD, to a treatise by the Greek historian Theophylact Simicata, which describes the instrument being used by Slavs from the area of the later Kievan Rus. The Gusli are thought to have been the instrument used by the legendary Boyan a bard, a singer of tales and other heroes of Russian mythology. In later times Gusli were widely used by wandering musicians and entertainers, Skomorok. Izba an izba is a traditional Russian countryside dwelling, a type of log house, suited to the colder climate of northeastern Europe and Siberia. Traditional, old-style izba construction involved the use of simple tools, such as ropes, axes, knives, and spades. Nails were not generally used, as metal was relatively expensive, and neither were saws. Both the interior and exterior were made of split tree trunks, the gap between was usually filled with clay from a riverbed. From the 15th century on, the central element of the interior of an izba was the Russian oven. 
Outside izbas were often embellished by various special architectural features, for example rich wood carving decorations on windows. Such decorative elements and the use of the Russian oven are still commonly found in many modern Russian countryside houses. Kosovaratka A kosovaratka is a Russian skewed collared shirt, long-sleeved and reaching down to mid-thigh, a traditional top garment going back to ancient times. The name derived from koso askew, and vorat collar, since the collar of this shirt appears skewed when it is left unbuttoned. The collar and sleeves of Kosovaratka were often decorated with a traditional Slavic ornamentation. It was worn by peasants and townsmen of various social categories until the early 20th century, until it was replaced by less elaborate clothing. The garment is also known as a Tolstovka, or the Tolstoy shirt, because the writer Count Leo Tolstoy customarily wore one in the later years of his life. Now Kosovaratkas appear mostly as souvenirs and as decorative garments in Russian folk art ensembles. Lap tea. The lap tea is an East Slavic version of bast shoes. A kind of basket fit to the shape of a foot, lap tea were woven primarily from bast of the linden tree or from birch bark. They were easy to manufacture, but not very durable. In Russia, lap tea were worn until the 1920s, or 1930s, as a cheap replacement for leather shoes, just like clogs in Western Europe. She she is a Russian soup with cabbage as the primary ingredient, which makes it possible for the prepared dish to be stored safely for a rather long time without it losing its taste qualities. Generally it is made with either fresh cabbage or sauerkraut and other winter vegetables, although meat may be added. She made with sauerkraut has a sour taste and is called sour she. A summer sorrel soup, also popular in pre-revolutionary and modern Russia, is known as green she. Usually smetana cream is added into she before serving. Smetana Smetana is a thick, yellowish-white and slightly sour-tasting cream which contains about 40% milk fat. It is made by curdling pasteurized cream. In Russian cooking, it is used in virtually everything from appetizers and main courses to desserts. It is somewhat close to a creme fraiche 28%, but is much heavier and thicker, with usually 36% to 42% milk fat or even higher, and is more sour in taste. Smetana is ideal to be used in dishes requiring a long cooking time in the oven, since it will not curdle when cooked or added to hot dishes. <laughs> Kievan Rus 10th century. Architecture The earliest Kievan churches were built and decorated with frescoes and mosaics by Byzantine masters. The great churches of Kievan Rus, built after the adoption of Christianity in 988, were the first examples of monumental architecture in the East Slavic lands. Early Eastern Orthodox churches were mainly made of wood, while major cathedrals often featured scores of small domes. The 10th century church of the tithes in Kiev was the first to be made of stone. Kakoshnik The Kakoshnik is a traditional Russian head dress for women. It is patterned to match the style of the serifan and can be pointed or round. It is tied at the back of the head with long thick ribbons in a large bow. The forehead is sometimes decorated with pearls or other jewelry. The word Kakoshnik appeared in the 16th century, however the earliest head dress pieces of a similar type were found in the 10th to 12th century burials in Veliki Novgorod. It was worn by girls and women on special occasions until the Russian Revolution, and was subsequently introduced into Western fashion by Russian émigrés. 989 Kvass, Okrushka Kvass or Kvass, sometimes called in English a bread drink, is a fermented beverage made from black rye or rye bread, which contributes to its light or dark color. By the content of alcohol resulted from fermentation, it is classified as non-alcoholic, up to 1.2% of alcohol, which is so low that it is considered acceptable for consumption by children. While the early low-alcoholic prototypes of kvass were known in some ancient civilizations, its modern, almost non-alcoholic form originated in Eastern Europe. Kvass was first mentioned in the Russian Primary Chronicle, which tells how Prince Vladimir the Great gave kvass among other beverages to the people, while celebrating the Christianization of Kievan Rus. Kvass is also known as a main ingredient in Okrushka, a Russian cold soup. 989 Multidomed Church The Multidomed Church is a typical form of Russian church architecture, which distinguishes Russia from other Orthodox nations and Christian denominations. 
Indeed, the earliest Russian churches built just after the Christianization of Kievan Rus, were multi-domed, which led some historians to speculate what Russian pre-Christian pagan temples might have looked like. Namely, these early churches were 13-domed wooden St. Sophia Cathedral in Novgorod 989 and 25-domed stone Desyatinaya Church in Kiev 989-996. The number of domes typically has a symbolical meaning in Russian architecture, for example 13 domes symbolize Christ with 12 apostles, while 25 domes mean the same with additional 12 prophets from the Old Testament. Multiple domes of Russian churches were often made of wood and were comparatively smaller than the Byzantine domes. 997 Kissel Kissel or kissel is a dessert that consists of sweetened juice, typically that of berries, thickened with oats, cornstarch or potato starch, with red wine or dried fruits added sometimes. The dessert can be served either hot or cold, and if made using less thickening starch it can be consumed as a beverage, which is common in Russia. Kissel was mentioned for the first time in the Primary Chronicle, where it forms part of the story of how a besieged Russian city was saved from nomadic pechenegs. Topic. 11th century Birch bark document A birch bark document is a document written on pieces of birch bark. This form of writing material was developed independently by several ancient cultures. In Rus the usage of the specially prepared birch bark as a cheap replacement for pergament or paper became widespread soon after the Christianization of the country. The earliest Russian birch bark documents likely written in the first quarter of the 11th century have been found in Veliki Novgorod. In total, more than 1,000 such documents have been discovered, most of them in Novgorod and the rest in other ancient cities in Russia, Ukraine and Belarus. Many birch bark documents were written by common people rather than by clergy or nobility. This fact led some historians to suggest that before the Mongol invasion of Rus the level of literacy in the country might have been considerably higher than in contemporary Western Europe. Coke, icebreaker The coke was an ancient form of icebreaker, being a special type of one or two small wooden sailing ships with a mast, used for voyages in the icy conditions of the Arctic seas and Siberian rivers. The coke was developed by the Russian Pomors in the 11th century, when they started settling on the White Sea shores. The coke's hull was protected by a belt of ice flow resistant flush skin planking made of oak or larch along the variable water line, and had a false keel for on ice portage. If a coke was in danger of being trapped in the ice fields, its rounded body lines below the surface would allow for the ship to be pushed up out of the water and onto the ice with no damage. In the 19th century, similar protective features were adopted to modern icebreakers. Gudok the gudok is an ancient East Slavic string musical instrument, played with a bow. It usually had three strings, two of them tuned in unison and played as a drone, the third tuned a fifth higher. All three strings were in the same plane at the bridge, so that a bow could make them all sound at the same time. Sometimes the gudok also had several sympathetic strings up to eight under the sounding board. These made the gudoks sound warm and rich. It was also possible to play while standing or dancing, which made it popular among skomaroks. The name gudok comes from the 17th century, however the same type of instrument existed from 11th to 16th century, but was called smik. Medivica Medivica is an old Slavic honey-based alcoholic beverage very similar to mead, but much cheaper and faster to make. Since the old times the Slavs exported the fermented mead as a luxury product to Europe in huge quantities. Fermentation occurs naturally over 15 to 50 years, originally rendering the product very expensive and only accessible to the nobility. However, in the 11th century East Slavs found that fermentation occurred much faster when the honey mixture was heated, enabling Medivica to become a commonly available drink in the territory of Rus. In the 14th century, the invention of distillation made it possible to create a prototype of the modern Medivica, however vodka was invented at the same time and gradually surpassed Medivica in popularity. 1048 Russian Fist Fighting Russian Fist Fighting is an ancient Russian combat sport, similar to modern boxing. However, it features some indigenous techniques and often fought in collective events called Stenka na Stenku wall against wall. It has existed since the times of Kievan Rus, first mentioned in the Primary Chronicle in the year 1048. 
The government and the Russian Orthodox Church often tried to prohibit the fights, however, fist fighting remained popular until the 19th century, while in the 20th century some of the old techniques were adopted for the modern Russian martial arts. 12th century Pernach the Pernach is a type of flanged mace developed since the 12th century in the region of Kievan Rus and later widely used throughout Europe. The name comes from the Russian word puro, puro meaning feather, reflecting the form of Pernach that resembled an arrow with fletching. The most popular variety of Pernach had six flanges and was called shistopior from Russian shishist and puro, that is six feathered. Pernach was the first form of the flanged mace to find wide usage. It was perfectly suited to defeat plate armor and plate mail. In later times it was often used as a symbol of power by military leaders in Eastern Europe. Shashka The shashka is a special kind of saber, a very sharp, single-edged, single-handed, and guardless sword. In appearance, the shashka is midway between a full saber and a straight sword. It has a slightly curved blade, and could be effective for both slashing and thrusting. Originally the shashka was developed in the 12th century by Circassians in the northern Caucasus. These lands were integrated into the Russian Empire in the 18th century. By that time shashka was adopted as their main cold weapon by Russian Cossacks. Treshchotka The treshchotka, sometimes referred in plural as treshchotki, is a Russian folk music idiophone instrument which is used to imitate hand clapping. Basically it is a set of small boards on a string that get clapped together as a group. There are no known documents confirming the usage of the treshchotka in ancient Russia, however, the remnants of what might have been the earliest 12th-century treshchotka were recently found in Novgorod. 1149 Bear Spear The bear spear or rogatina was a medieval type of spear used in bear hunting and also to hunt other large animals, like wisents and war horses. The sharpened head of a bear spear was enlarged and usually had the form of a bay leaf. Right under the head there was a short crosspiece that helped to fix the spear in the body of an animal. Often it was placed against the ground on its rear point, which made it easier to absorb the impact of the attacking beast. The Russian chronicles first mention Rogatina as a military weapon in the year 1149, and as a hunting weapon in the year 1255. 13th century. Soka The soka is a light wooden plow which could be pulled by one horse. Its origin was in northern Russia, most likely in the Novgorod Republic, where it was used as early as in the 13th century. A characteristic feature of soka construction is the bifurcated plowing tip, rasoha so that a soka has two plowshares, later made of metal, which cut the soil. The soka is an evolution of a scratch plow by an addition of a spade-like detail which turns the cut soil over in regular plows the curved moldboard both cuts and turns the soil. Pelmeni Pelmeni is a dish originating from Siberia, now considered part of Russian national cuisine. It is a type of dumpling consisting of a filling that is wrapped in thin unleavened dough. The word pelmeni comes from the Finno-Ugric Komi, Udmort, and Mansi languages. It is unclear when pelmeni entered the cuisines of indigenous Siberian people and when it first appeared in Russian cuisine, but most likely it was during the Mongol conquests and Mongol Tatar invasion of Rus in the 13th century, when Mongol Tatars took the basic idea from the Chinese dumplings and brought it to Siberia and Eastern Europe. Onion Dome The onion dome is a dome whose shape resembles an onion. Such domes are often larger in diameter than the drum upon which they are set, and their height usually exceeds their width. The whole bulbous structure tapers smoothly to a point. The so-called onion dome is the dominant form for church domes in Russia, and though the earliest preserved Russian domes of the type date from the 16th century, illustrations of the old chronicles indicate that they were used since the late 13th century. Topic. Grand Duchy of Moscow. Topic. 14th century Lapta Lapta is a Russian ball game played with a bat, similar to modern baseball. The game is played outside on a field the size of 20 by 25 sazans about 140 by 175 feet. Points are earned by hitting the ball, served by a player of the opposite team, and sending it as far as possible, then running across the field to the con line, and if possible running back to the gorod line. 
the running player should try to avoid being hit with the ball, which is thrown by opposing team members. The most ancient balls and bats for Lapta were found in 14th century layers during excavations in Novgorod, Zvonitsa. A Zvonitsa is a large rectangular structure containing multiple arches or beams that carry bells, where bell ringers stand on its basement level and perform the ringing using long ropes, like playing on a kind of giant musical instrument. It was an alternative to bell tower in the medieval architecture of Russia and some Eastern European countries. Zvonitsa appeared in Russia in the 14th century and was widely used until the 17th century. Sometimes it was mounted right atop the church building, resulting in the special type of church called pod zvonim, under ringing, or izi pod kolakali, under bells. The most famous example of this type of a church is the Church of St. Ivan of the Ladder adjacent to the Ivan the Great Bell Tower in the Moscow Kremlin. Anber script The alphabet was introduced by a Russian missionary, Stepan Krap, also known as St. Stephen of Perm. Stepan Harap, Stefan Perm Skij in 1372. The name Aber is derived from the names of the first two characters, An and Ber. The alphabet derived from Cyrillic and Greek, and Komi tribal signs, the latter being similar in the appearance to runes or siglas paveras, because they were created by incisions, rather than by usual writing. The alphabet was in use until the 17th century, when it was superseded by the Cyrillic script. Aber was also used as cryptographic writing for the Russian language. 1376 Seraphan the seraphan is a long, shapeless pinafore-type jumper dress, a part of the traditional Russian folk costume worn by women and girls. Seraphans could be of single-piece construction with thin shoulder straps over which a corset is sometimes worn, giving the shape of the body of a smaller triangle over a larger one. It comes in different styles such as the simpler black, flower or check patterned versions formerly used for everyday wear, or elaborate brocade versions formerly reserved for special occasions. Chronicles first mention it in the year 1376, and since that time it was worn well until the 20th century. It is now worn as a folk costume for performing Russian folk songs and folk dancing. Plain seraphans are still designed and worn today as a summer time light dress. 15th century Kolui miniature Bardish the bardish was a long poleaxe, that is a type of weapon combining the features of an axe and a polearm, known primarily in Eastern Europe where it was used instead of halberds. Occasionally such weapons were made in antiquity and early Middle Ages, but the regular and widespread usage of bardishes started in early 15th century Russia. It was probably developed from the Scandinavian broad axe, but in Scandinavia it appeared only in the late 15th century. In the 16th century the bardish became a weapon associated with the streltsy, Russian guardsmen armed with firearms, who used bardishes to rest handguns upon when firing. Boyar hat The boyar hat, also known as Gorlatnaya hat, was a fur hat worn by Russian nobility between the 15th and 17th centuries, most notably by boyars, for whom it was a sign of their social status. The higher hat indicated higher status. In average, it was 1 L in height, having the form of a cylinder with more broad upper part, velvet or brocade on top and a main body made of fox, marten or sable fur. Today the hat is sometimes used in the Russian fashion, Gulye Gorod. The Gulye Gorod literally, wandering town, was a mobile fortification made from large wall-sized prefabricated shields set on wagons or sleds, a development of the wagon fort concept. The usage of installable shields instead of permanently armored wagons was cheaper and allowed more possible configurations to be assembled. Such mobile structures were used mostly in the open steppe, where few natural shelters could be found. The wide-scale usage of Gulye Gorod started during the Russo-Kazan Wars, and later it was often used by the Ukrainian Cossacks, Yuka. Yuka is a Russian soup, made with broth and fish like salmon or cod, root vegetables, parsley root, leek, potato, bay leaf, lime, dill, green parsley and spiced with black pepper, cinnamon and cloves. Fish like perch, tenches, sheetfish and burbot were used to add flavor to the soup. Yuka as a name in the Russian cuisine for fish broth was established only in the late 17th to early 18th centuries. In earlier times this name was first given to thick meat broths, and then later chicken. Beginning from the 15th century, fish was used more and more often to prepare yuca, thus creating a dish that had a distinctive taste among soups. Russian oven 
The Russian oven or Russian stove is a unique type of oven – furnace that first appeared in the early 15th century. The Russian oven is usually placed in the center of the izba, a traditional Russian dwelling, and plays an immense role in the traditional Russian culture and way of life. It is used both for cooking and domestic heating and is designed to retain heat for long periods of time. This is achieved by channeling the smoke and hot air produced by combustion through a complex labyrinth of passages, warming the bricks from which the oven is constructed. In winter people may sleep on top of the oven to keep warm. As well as warming and cooking, the Russian oven can be used for washing. A grown man can easily fit inside, and during the Great Patriotic War some people escaped the Nazis by hiding in ovens. Porridge or pancakes prepared in such an oven may differ in taste from the same meal prepared on a modern stove or range. The process of cooking in a traditional Russian oven can be called langer, holding dishes for a long period of time at a steady temperature. Foods that are believed to acquire a distinctive character from being prepared in a Russian oven include baked milk, pearl barley, mushrooms cooked in sour cream, or even a simple potato, rasolnik. Rasolnik is a Russian soup made from pickled cucumbers, pearl barley and pork or beef kidneys, though a vegetarian version also exists. The dish is known from the 15th century, when it was initially called kalya. The key part of rasolnik is rasol, a liquid based on the juice of pickled cucumbers with some additions, famous for its usage in hangover treatment. C. 1430 Russian vodka Russian vodka is perhaps the world's most famous national brand of vodka, that is a distilled liquor, composed solely of water and ethanol with possible traces of impurities and flavorings. Vodka is one of the world's most popular liquors. It is made by fermentation of rye, wheat, potatoes, grapes, or sugar beet molasses. Alcoholic content usually ranges between 35 and 50 percent by volume. The standard Russian vodka is 40 percent alcohol by volume 80 proof. The exact origins of vodka cannot be traced definitively, but almost certainly vodka as a beverage comes from 14th-15th century Eastern Europe. Russia is often named the birthplace of vodka. The distillation apparatus was known in Moscow from the late 14th century and was used to produce spirit, the precursor of vodka. According to Russian food historian William Pokliopkin, the first original recipe of Russian vodka was produced around 1430 by a monk called Isidore from Chudov Monastery inside the Moscow Kremlin. Early 16th century Kakoshnik architecture. The Kakoshnik is a semicircular or keel-like exterior decorative element in the traditional Russian architecture, a type of corbel blind arch. The name was inspired by the traditional Russian women's headdress. Kakoshniks were used in Russian church architecture in the 16th century, while in the 17th century their popularity reached the highest point. Kakoshniks were placed on walls, at the basement of tented roofs or thalabates, or over the window frames, or in rows above the vaults. 1510s Tented Roof Masonry The tented roof masonry was a technique widely used in the Russian architecture in the 16th and 17th centuries. Before that time tented roofs conical, or actually polygonal roofs were made of wood and used in the wooden churches. These hipped roofs are thought to have originated in the Russian north, as they prevented snow from piling up on wooden buildings during long winters. Wooden tents also were used to cover towers in Kremlins, or even applied in some common buildings, like it was in Western Europe, but the thin, pointed, nearly conical roofs of the similar shape made of brick or stone became a unique form in Russian church architecture. Some scholars, however, argue that hipped roofs have something in common with European Gothic spires, and even tend to call this style Russian Gothic. The Ascension Church of Kolomenskoy, built in 1532 to commemorate the birth of the first Russian Tsar Ivan IV, is often considered the first tented roof church, but recent studies show that the earliest use of the stone tented roof was in the Trinity Church in Alexandrov, built in the 1510s.1530 Middle Muscovite. Tsardom of Russia Late 16th century Russian abacus The Russian abacus or shati literally counts is a decimal type of abacus that has a single slanted deck in a unique vertical layout with 10 beads on each wire except one wire which has 4 beads for quarter ruble fractions that is usually near the user 
It was developed in Russia from the late 16th century, at the time when abacus already was falling out of use in the Western Europe. However, the decimality of the Russian abacus explained by Russian rubles being the world's first decimal currency and its simplicity compared to the previous European and Asian versions led to the wide use of this device in Russia well until the advent of electronic calculators in the late 20th century, though it remains in quite common use today. 1550 Strelt C First known standard military uniform worn by Russian regular army, elite armed forces known as Strelt C.1552 Battery Tower The battery tower is a late type of siege tower, carrying artillery inside it, a development of the Goulier Gorod concept. The first such tower was built by the Russian military engineer Ivan Virodkov during the siege of Kazan in 1552 a part of the Russo-Kazan Wars, and could hold 10 large caliber cannons and 50 lighter cannons. Later battery towers were often used by the Ukrainian Cossacks. 1561 St. Basil's Cathedral St. Basil's Cathedral is perhaps the most famous Russian Orthodox cathedral, a symbol of Moscow and Russia. It was designed by Postnik Yakovlev on the order of Ivan IV of Russia and built on the Moscow's Red Square in 1555-1561, to commemorate the capture of Kazan and Astrakhan. The unique feature of the St. Basil's Cathedral is the fact that it is a complex of multiple temples put together. The original building, known as Trinity Cathedral, contained eight side churches covered with onion domes and arranged around the ninth, central tented roof church of intercession. The tenth church was erected in 1588 over the grave of venerated local fool Vasily. Basil. In the 16th and the 17th centuries the cathedral, perceived as the earthly symbol of the heavenly city, was popularly known as Jerusalem, and served as an allegory of the Jerusalem Temple in the annual Palm Sunday Parade attended by the Patriarch of Moscow and the Tsar. Its striking design, shaped as a flame of a bonfire rising into the sky, has no analogues elsewhere in the world, and it was seldom reproduced in Russian architecture, most notably in the St. Peter's and Paul Cathedral in Petergoff and in the Church of the Saviour on Blood in St. Petersburg. 1566 Great Abatis Line The Great Abatis Line, or Bolshaya Zasignaya Cherta in Russian, was the largest fortification line of the Abatis type, built by the Grand Duchy of Moscow and later the Tsardom of Russia. Its purpose was to protect Russia from the raids of nomads of the Eastern European steppes, such as the Crimean Tatars. As a fortification construction stretching for hundreds kilometers, the Great Abatis Line is analogous to the Great Wall of China and the Roman Limes. Most of its length consisted of abatis, which is a barrier built from felled trees arranged as a barricade. It was also fortified by ditches and earth mounds, palisades, watch towers and natural features like lakes and swamps. Stone and wooden Kremlins of the towns were also included in the Great Abatis Line, as well as the smaller forts called Ostrogs. The Great Abatis Line was built south of Moscow between the Bryansk Woods and Meshura Swamps starting from the 12th century, and was officially completed in 1566, exceeding 1,000 km in length. 1586 Tsar Cannon the Tsar Cannon is an enormous cannon, commissioned in 1586 by Russian Tsar Fyodor and cast by Andrei Chokhov. It is the largest bombard by caliber. The cannon weighs 39.312 metric tons and has a length of 5.34 meters (17.5 feet). Its bronze cast barrel has a caliber of 890 millimeters (35.0 in) and an external diameter of 1,200 millimeters (47.2 in). Along with a new carriage, the two-ton cannonballs surrounding the cannon were added in 1835 and are larger than the diameter of its barrel. In fact, it was originally designed to fire 800 kg stone grapeshot. The cannon is decorated with reliefs, including one depicting Tsar Fyodor on a horse, hence the name of the cannon, though now the word Tsar is associated more with the supreme size of the weapon. Several copies of the cannon were made in the 21st century and installed in Donetsk and several Russian cities, while the original Tsar cannon is in the Moscow Kremlin. 17th century Bochka roof The Bochka roof or simply Bochka Russian, Boka barrel is the type of roof in the traditional Russian architecture that has a form of half-cylinder with an elevated and sharpened upper part, resembling the sharpened kakoshnik. Typically made of wood, the Bochka roof was extensively used both in the church and civilian architecture in the 17th and 18th centuries. 
Later it was sometimes used in Russian Revival-style buildings. Gorodki Gorodki or townlets is an old Russian folk sport whose popularity has spread also to Scandinavia and the Baltic states. Similar to bowling, the aim of the game is to knock out groups of skittles arranged in some pattern by throwing a bat at them. The skittles, or pins, are called gorodki literally little cities or townlets, and the square zone in which they are arranged is called the gorod city. The game is mentioned in the Old Russian Chronicles and was known in the form close to the modern one at least from the 17th century, since one of the famous players in Gorodki was the young Peter I of Russia, Roller Coaster. Russian mountains were winter sled rides held on specially constructed hills of ice, sometimes up to 200 feet tall, being the first type of roller coaster. Known from the 17th century, the slides were built to a height of between 70 and 80 feet, consisted of a 50-degree drop, and were reinforced by wooden supports. In the 18th century they were especially popular in St. Petersburg and surrounding areas, from where by the late 18th century their usage and popularity spread to Europe. Sometimes wheeled carts were used instead of tracks, like in the Katalnaya Gorka built in Catherine II's residence in Oranienbaum. The first such wheeled ride was brought to Paris in 1804 under the name Les Montagnes Russes French for Russian Mountains, and the term Russian Mountains continues to be a synonym for roller coaster in many countries today. Bird of Happiness The Bird of Happiness is the traditional North Russian wooden toy, carved in the shape of a bird. It was invented by Pomors, the inhabitants of the White and Barents Sea coastline. The bird of happiness is made without glue or other fasteners, by elaborate carving of thin petals for the bird's wings and tail and then using a special method of spreading and curving them. Similar methods are also used in other products of the North Russian handicraft. The amulet is usually made of pine, fir, spruce, or Siberian cedar. It is suspended inside a house, guarding the family hearth and well-being. Dimkovo toy Dimkovo toys, also known as the Vyatka toys or Kirov toys are molded painted clay figures of people and animals sometimes in the form of a penny whistle. It is an old Russian folk handicraft which still exists in a village of Dimkovo near Kirov former Vyatka. Traditionally, the Dimkovo toys are made by women. Up until the 20th century, this toy production had been timed to the spring fair called Svistuna Svistunya, or Whistler. The first recorded mention of this event took place in 1811, however it is believed to have existed for some 400 years, thus dating the history of Dimkovo toy at least from the 17th century. Troika The Troika tro triplet, or trio, is a traditional Russian harness driving combination, using three horses abreast, usually pulling a sleigh. It differs from most other three-horse combinations in that the horses are harnessed abreast. In addition to that, the Troika is the world's only multiple harness with different horse gates, the middle horse trots and the side horses canter. At full speed a Troika could reach 45 to 50 km per hour 28 to 31 miles per hour, which was a very high speed on land for vehicles in the 17th-19th centuries, making the Troika closely associated with the fast ride. The Troika was developed from the late 17th century, first being used for speedy delivering of mail, and having become common by the late 18th century. It was often used for traveling in stages where teams of tired horses could be exchanged for fresh animals to transport loads and people over long distances. 1630 Late Muscovite Russian architecture characterized by many large cathedral type churches with five onion like cupolas, surrounding them with tents of bell towers and aisles. 1659 Kokloma Kokloma is the name of a Russian wood painting handicraft, known for its vivid flower patterns, red and gold colors over the black background, and the distinctive effect on the cheap and light wooden tableware or furniture, making it look heavier, metal-like and glamorous. It first appeared in the second half of the 17th century, at least from 1659, in today's Nizhny Novgorod Oblast and was named after the large trade settlement Kokloma. The handicraft owes its origin to the old believers, who, fleeing from persecutions of officials, took refuge in local woods and taught some of the icon painting techniques to the local craftsmen, such as the usage of a goldish color without applying real gold. Nowadays Kokloma is one of the symbols of Russia, and apart from its usage in making tableware, furniture and souvenirs, it can be found in the wider context, for example in paintings on Russian airliners. 1679 Circle of Fifths in the late 1670s a treatise called Grammatica was written by the composer and theorist Nikolai Doletsky. 
Teletsky's Grammatica is a treatise on composition, the first of its kind, which targeted Western-style polyphonic compositions. It taught how to write concerti, polyphonic a cappella, which were normally based on liturgical texts and were created by putting together musical sections that have contrasting rhythm, meters, melodic material and vocal groupings. Dolecki intended his treatise to be a guide to composition but pertaining to the rules of music theory. Within the Grammatica treatise is where the first circle of fifths appeared and was used for students as a composer's tool. 1685 Tula Prionic The Tula Prionic is a type of printed gingerbread from the city of Tula, the most known kind of Russian gingerbreads. Usually the Tula Prionic looks like a rectangular tile or a flat figure. Modern Tula Prionic usually contain jam or condensed milk, while in the old times they were made with honey. The first mention of the Tula Prionic is in Tula Census Book of 1685.1688 Balalaika. The balalaika is a stringed instrument with a characteristic triangular body and three strings, or sometimes six, in three courses, perhaps the best known national Russian musical instrument. The balalaika family of instruments includes, from the highest pitch to the lowest, the prima balalaika, secunda balalaika, alto balalaika, bass balalaika, and contrabass balalaika. The earliest mention of balalaika is found in a 1688 document, and initially it was an instrument of skomaroks sort of Russian freelance musical jesters. In the 1880s the modern standard balalika was developed by Vasily Andreev, who also started a tradition of balalaika orchestras, which finally led to the popularity of the instrument in many countries outside Russia. Glass holder The podstakhanik Russian, podstakhanik literally, thing under the glass or tea glass holder, is a holder with a handle, most commonly made of metal, that holds a drinking glass. The primary purpose of podstakaniki place is to hold a very hot glass of tea, which is usually consumed right after it is brewed. It is a traditional way of serving and drinking tea in Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, and other post-Soviet states. 1693. Narishkin Baroque also called Moscow Baroque, or Muscovite Baroque, is the name given to a particular style of Baroque architecture and decoration which was fashionable in Moscow from the turn of the 17th into the early 18th centuries. <laughs> early 18th century Table glass the table glass or granyanyi stakan literally faceted glass is a type of drinkware made from especially hard and thick glass, having a faceted form. Granyanyi stakan has certain advantages over the other drinkware, since due to its form and hardness it is more difficult to break. It is arguably handier in usage on moving trains or rolling ships, where it is less prone to tip and fall, or slip from hands, and less likely to break upon hitting the floor. A legend says that the first known Russian faceted glass was given as a present to Tsar Peter the Great from a glass maker called Yefim Smolin, living in Vladimir Oblast. He boasted to Tsar that his glass couldn't be broken. Tsar Peter liked the present, however, after drinking some alcoholic beverage from it, he threw the glass on the ground and managed to break it. Still Peter didn't punish the glass maker, and the production of such glasses continued, while the Russian tradition of breaking drinkware on certain occasions originated from that episode. 1704 Decimal currency The decimal currency is a type of currency that is based on one basic unit and a sub-unit which is a power of 10, typically 100. Most modern currencies adhere to this pattern. Russia was the first country to introduce such a currency after decimalization of its financial system in 1704, during the reign of Peter the Great, when Russian ruble was made equal to 100 kopex.1717 metal lathe compound slide. By Andrei Nartov. A compound slide on a metal lathe adds the ability to turn tapers more easily, and may be used to turn more precise diameters. They are a standard feature of modern manually operated lathes. 1718 Yacht Club. The Yacht Club is a sports club specifically related to sailing and yachting. The oldest yacht club in the world, by date of establishment, is the Neva Yacht Club, founded by the Russian Tsar Peter the Great in 1718 in St. Petersburg likely, the idea had been devised as early as 1716, when the first Neva shipyard started building civilian vessels. Though, since it was not a purely voluntary association of members, but an organization founded by Tsar's decree, the Neva Yacht Clubs being the world's oldest is challenged by the Royal Cork Yacht Club in Ireland, founded in 1720. 
Both clubs have gone through periods of dormancy and undergone various name changes. Russian Empire 1720s 1725 rebar rebar or reinforcing bar is a common metal bar typically made of steel used in reinforced concrete and reinforced masonry structures rebar was known in construction well before the era of the modern reinforced concrete since some 150 years before its invention rebar were used in the leaning tower of Nevyansk in Russia which was built on the orders of the industrialist Akinfi Demidov between 1725 to 1732 the purpose of such construction is one of the many mysteries of the tower. The cast iron used was of very high quality, and there is no corrosion on them up to this day. 1730s 1732 cast iron cupola, lightning rod The cast iron cupola was a type of cupola made of cast iron rather than made from stone or brick as it was in ancient or medieval domes. The first application of this technology is found in the mysterious Leaning Tower of Neviansk, completed in 1732. The tower's tented roof had a cast iron carcass and outer shell. The second time, this technique was applied only some 100 years later, during the reconstruction of the Mainz Cathedral in Germany in 1826, while the third time it was used in the dome of St. Isaac's Cathedral in St. Petersburg, built in the 1840s. The very top of the tower was crowned with a gilded metallic sphere with spikes. Since it was grounded through the rebar of the tower carcass, it acted like a lightning rod. Thus, the Russian builders de facto created the first lightning rod in the Western world some 25 years before Benjamin Franklin, however it is not known whether that was intentional. 1733 Peter and Paul Cathedral The Peter and Paul Cathedral is a Russian Orthodox cathedral located in St. Petersburg, Russia. It is the first and oldest landmark in St. Petersburg, built between 1712 and 1733 inside the Peter and Paul Fortress. Both the cathedral and the fortress were originally built under Peter the Great and designed by Domenico Trezzini. The cathedral is the burial place of all Russian emperors from Peter I to Nicholas II, with the exception of Peter II. The cathedral's bell tower is the world's tallest Orthodox bell tower. Since the belfry is not standalone, but an integral part of the main building, the cathedral is sometimes considered the highest Orthodox church in the world. 1735 Tsar Bell The Tsar Bell, also known as the Tsarsky Kolokol or Royal Bell, is a huge bell on display on the grounds of the Moscow Kremlin. The bell was commissioned by Empress Anna, niece of Peter the Great. Currently it is the largest and heaviest bell in the world, weighing 216 tons, with a height of 6.14 meters .1 feet and diameter of 6.6 .6 meters .6 feet. It was founded from bronze by masters Ivan Motorin and his son Mikhail in 1733 to 1735. The bell, however, was never rung because of a fire in 1737, when a huge slab .5 tons cracked off while it was still in the casting pit. In 1836, the bell was placed on a stone pedestal next to the Ivan the Great Bell Tower. For a time, the bell served as a chapel, with the broken area forming the door. According to the legend, on Judgment Day the Tsar Bell will be miraculously repaired and lifted up to heaven, where it will ring the Blagovist call to prayer. 1739 Ice Palace 1740s Seventeen forty one quick firing gun by Andrei Martov. Topic Seventeen fifties Seventeen fifty four coaxial rotor model helicopter by Mikhail Lomonosov. Seventeen fifty six law of mass conservation by Mikhail Lomonosov. Seventeen fifty seven Lacorn Russian field gun. By M. W. Danilov and S. A. Martinov. Topic: 1760s. 1761 Atmosphere of Venus. 
Mikhail Lomonosov was the first person to hypothesize the existence of an atmosphere on Venus based on his observation of the transit of Venus of 1761 in a small observatory near his house in Petersburg. 1762 off axis reflecting telescope by Mikhail Lomonosov. 1770s 1770 Amber Room The Amber Room in the Catherine Palace of Tsarskoy Silo near St. Petersburg is a complete chamber decoration of amber panels backed with gold leaf and mirrors. It was dubbed the Eighth Wonder of the World due to its singular beauty and the large quantity of a rare material amber is rather hard to carve. Due to its unique history it was also called the world's greatest lost treasure. Several generations of German and Russian craftsmen worked on this masterpiece, prompted by several generations of monarchs. Construction began in 1701 to 1709 in Prussia. In 1716 the Amber Cabinet was given by Prussian King Friedrich Wilhelm I to his then ally, Tsar Peter I of Russia. Then it was expanded by Russian craftsmen, and by 1770, when the work was finished, the room covered more than 55 square meters and contained over six tons of amber. It was looted during World War II by Nazi Germany, brought to Königsberg and lost in the chaos at the end of the war. In 1979–2003 Russian craftsmen again reconstructed the Amber Room in the Catherine Palace, while the location of the original one is still a mystery. 1770 Thunder Stone the largest stone ever moved by man, used a base for a statue. 1776 Orenburg Shawl. 1778 Russian Samovar. In 1778, the Lisitsyn brothers introduced their first samovar design, and the same year they registered the first samovar making factory in Russia. 1780s 1784 Orlov Trotter. By Alexei Grigoryevich Orlov. Topic: 1790s. Russian guitar. By Andrei Sitravalenki. 1793 screw drive elevator. The screw drive elevator is an elevator that uses a screw drive system instead of a hoist, like it was in the earlier elevators. The invention of the screw drive was the most important step in elevator technology since ancient times, which finally led to the creation of modern passenger elevators. The first such elevator was invented by Ivan Kulibin and installed in the Winter Palace in 1793, while several years later another of Kulibin's elevators was installed in Arkhangelskoy near Moscow. In 1823, an ascending room made its debut in London. 1795 Fedowskino miniature, Russian lacquer art 1796 Peaked cap The peaked cap has been worn by Russian army officers as a type of forage cap since 1796 by some regiments, and from 1811 by the most of the army. 19th century cargo pole toys Filimonovo toys Gorodets painting Rushnik is a ritual cloth embroidered with symbols and cryptograms of the ancient world. 1802 Modern powdered milk 1802 Continuous electric arc by Vasily Petrov 1805 Droshki Any of various two or four wheeled, horse drawn, public carriages. Early taxicabs. 1810s 1811 Sailor Cap 1812 Electric Telegraph by Pavel Schilling 1812 Naval Mine by Pavel Schilling 1814 Beehive Frame by Petro Prokopovich 1820s 1820 Antarctica by Fabian Gottlieb von Bellingshausen and Mikhail Lazar of 1820s Russian Revival Architecture is the generic term for a number of different movements within Russian architecture that arose in second quarter of the 19th century and was an eclectic melding of pre peterine Russian architecture architecture and elements of Byzantine architecture. 1820 Monorail the so-called «road on pillars» near Moscow, with horse-drawn carriages, built by Ivan Elmanov. 1825 Zostovo painting 1828 Electromagnetic telegraph by Pavel Schilling 1829 Industrial production process of sunflower oil 1829 Three-bolt diving equipment by E. K. Topic 1830s 1832 Data recording equipment Seaman Korsakov was reputedly the first to use the punched cards in informatics for information storage and search. 
Korsakov announced his new method and machines in September 1832, and rather than seeking patents, offered the machines for public use. 1833 Lenz's Law by Heinrich Lenz 1835 Centrifugal Fan by Alexander Sablukov 1838 Electrotyping by Boris Jacobi 1839 Electric Boat by Boris Jacobi 1839 Galvanoplastic Sculpture by Boris Jacobi and Heinrich Lenz Topic 1840s 1847 Field Anesthesia by Nikolai Pirogov 1848 Modern Oil Well by Vasily Semyonov Topic 1850s 1850s Neo-Byzantine Architecture in the Russian Empire emerged in the 1850s and became an officially endorsed preferred architectural style for church construction during the reign of Alexander II of Russia 1855 replacing the Russo-Byzantine style of Constantine Thon. 1851 Struve Geodetic Arc By Friedrich Georg Wilhelm von Struve 1851 Russian Railway Troops 1854 Modern Field Surgery by Nikolai Pirogov 1854 Stereo Camera 1857–1861 Theory of Chemical Structure By Alexander Butlerov, one of the principal creators of the theory of chemical structure, the first to incorporate double bonds into structural formulas, the discoverer of hexamine and the discoverer of the foremost reaction. 1857 Radiator a radiator is a heat exchanger used to transfer thermal energy from one medium to another for the purpose of cooling or heating. The first historical application of radiator was in central heating systems. The heating radiator was invented by Franz San Galli, a Polish-born Russian businessman living in St. Petersburg, between 1855–1857.1858 St. Isaac's Cathedral St. Isaac's Cathedral is the largest Russian Orthodox cathedral in St. Petersburg. It was the tallest Eastern Orthodox Church upon its completion subsequently surpassed only by the Cathedral of Christ the Savior. It is dedicated to St. Isaac of Dalmatia, a patron saint of Peter the Great who had been born on the feast day of that saint. Designed by Auguste de Montferrin, the cathedral is a masterpiece of the late classicism, built between 1818–1858. Multiple innovations were used during construction, such as the giant cast iron dome, special frameworks to erect columns, and the first usage of galvanoplastic sculpture in architecture. 1859 Aluminothermy by Nikolai Beketov. 1860s 1860s Russian salad by Lucian Olivier. 1861 Beef Stroganoff. 1864 Modern Icebreaker An icebreaker is a special purpose ship or boat designed to move and navigate through ice covered waters. The first steam powered metal hulled icebreaker of the modern type was the Russian Pilot, built in 1864 on orders of the merchant and shipbuilder Mikhail Britnov. It had the bow altered to achieve an ice clearing capability 20 degrees raise from keel line. This allowed the pilot to push itself on the top of the ice and consequently break it. Britnov fashioned the bow of his ship after the shape of the old wooden Pomor cokes, which had been navigating icy waters of the White Sea and Barents Sea for centuries. 1868 Grow Light Andre Famonson was the first to use artificial light for plant growing and research. 1869 Hectograph 1869 Periodic Table of the Elements by Dmitry Mendeleev 1870s Gymnasterka The gymnasterka was originally introduced into the Tsarist army about 1870 for wear by regiments stationed in Turkestan during the hot summers. It took the form of a loose-fitting white linen shirt tunic and included the colored shoulder boards of the green tunic worn during the remainder of the year. The gymnasterka was taken into use by all branches of the Imperial Army at the time of the Russo-Turkish War of 1877–78, originally intended for working dress during peacetime and patterned on the traditional Russian peasant smock, the gymnasterka was subsequently adopted for ordinary duties and active service wear. It was worn as such by noncommissioned ranks in summer during the 1890s and early 1900s. The office's equivalent was a white double-breasted tunic or kittel. During the Russo-Japanese War of 1904–05, the white gymnasterka with its red or blue shoulder boards proved too conspicuous against modern weaponry and the garments were often dyed various shades of khaki. 
The smartness and comfort of the white gymnastica enabled it to survive for a few more years of peacetime wear until a light khaki version was adopted in 1907–09 and worn during World War I. 1.1872 Electric Lamp by Alexander Ladigan. In 1872, he applied for a Russian patent for his filament lamp. He also patented this invention in Austria, Britain, France, and Belgium. For a filament, Ladigan used a very thin carbon rod, placed under a bell glass. 1872 Aldol reaction by Alexander Baradin, independently from Charles Adolphe Wirtz 1873 Odner arithmometer by Wilgot Theophil Odner 1873 armored cruiser General Admiral by Andre Alexandrovich Popov 1874 headlamp by Pavel Yablochkov 1875 Railway Electrification System By Fyodor Parotsky 1876 AC Transformer By Pavel Yablochkov 1876 Yablochkov Candle Invented in 1876 by Pavel Yablochkov, the Yablochkov Candle was the first commercially viable electric carbon arc lamp and was used for the world's first electric street lightning at the Exposition Universelle 1878 in Paris. 1877 Torpedo Boat Tender by Stepan Makarov 1877 Tracked Wagon by Fyodor Blinov 1878 Cylindrical Oil Tank by Vladimir Shukov 1879 Modern Oil Tanker By Ludwig Nobel 1880s 1880s Winogradsky Column The Winogradsky Column is a simple device for culturing a large diversity of microorganisms. Invented in the 1880s by Sergei Winogradsky, the device is a column of pond mud and water mixed with a carbon source such as newspaper containing cellulose, blackened marshmallows or egg shells containing calcium carbonate, and a sulfur source such as gypsum calcium sulfate or egg yolk. Incubating the column in sunlight for months results in an aerobic, anaerobic gradient as well as a sulfide gradient. These two gradients promote the growth of different microorganisms such as Clostridium, Desulfovibrio, Chlorobium, Chromatium, Rhodomicrobium, and Begiatoa, as well as many other species of bacteria, cyanobacteria, and algae. 1888's three phase electric power. The three phase system was developed independently from others by Mikhail Delivo Dobrovolsky. 1880 Vitamins. By Nikolai Ivanovich Lunin Russian Wikipedia article 1880 Electric Tram By Fyodor Perotsky 1881 Carbon Arc Welding The first arc welding method was introduced by Nikolai Bernardos and later patented in 1887.1883 Cathedral of Christ the Savior The Cathedral of Christ the Savior is the main and largest cathedral of the Russian Orthodox Church, located in Moscow on the bank of the Moskva River. It is the tallest Eastern Orthodox Church in the world. Designed by Constantine Thon, it is an outstanding example of the Byzantine Revival architecture. The domes of the cathedral for the first time in history were gilded using the technique of gold electroplating. The original building was demolished during the Soviet era, but was rebuilt in 1995-2000, having become a symbol of Russia's religious renaissance. 1884 Electric Submarine by Stefan Juitsky 1888 Caterpillar Farm Tractor The first steam-powered tractor on continuous tracks was completed by Fyodor Blinov 1888 Shielded Metal Arc Welding By Nikolai Slavyanov 1888 Solar Cell based on the outer photoelectric effect By Alexander Stolotov 1889 Three-phase induction motor By Mikhail Delivo Dobrovolsky 1889 Three-phase transformer by Mikhail Delivo Dobrovolsky 1889 Mosin Nagant rifle By Sergei Ivanovich Mosin, the most produced rifle of the era 1890s eighteen ninety Matryoshka doll By Sergei Malyutin and Vasily Zavyazdochkin 1890 Powered Exoskeleton 1890 Chemosynthesis by Sergei Winogradsky 1891 Thermal chemical cracking Shukov cracking process by Vladimir Shukov and Sergei Gavrilov, the first cracking method 1891 Long-distance transmission of three-phase electric power 
by Mikhail Delivo Dobrovolsky at the International Electrotechnical Exhibition in Frankfurt am Main. This demonstration initiated the today's power grids. 1891 Three phase hydroelectric power plant by Mikhail Delivo Dobrovolsky 1892 Viruses by Dmitry Ivanovsky 1894 Nephoscope by Mikhail Pomortsev 1895 Lightning detector, radio receiver by Alexander Stepanovich Popov 1896 Thin shell structure by Vladimir Shukov 1896 Tensile structure by Vladimir Shukov 1896 Hyperboloid structure by Vladimir Shukov, see also Shukov Tower 1897 Grid Shell by Vladimir Shukov 1898 Polar Icebreaker A polar icebreaker is an icebreaker capable of operating in the polar waters with their vast and thick multi-year sea ice. The Russian icebreaker Yermak named after Yermak the conqueror of Siberia was the first icebreaker able to ride over and crush pack ice. It was built in England between 1897 to 1898 after Admiral Stepan Makarov's design and under his supervision. Between 1899 to 1911 Yermak sailed in heavy ice conditions for more than 1,000 days. Starting from this vessel, Russia created the largest fleet of ocean-going icebreakers in the 20th and 21st centuries. 1899 radiation pressure by Pyotr Lebedev. Topic. 20th century Emstora miniature 1901 Classical conditioning by Ivan Pavlov. Pavlov was awarded the Nobel Prize for his work in 1904. Also referred to as Pavlov's dog. 1901 Chromatography by Mikhail Svet 1902 Fire fighting foam Fire fighting foam is foam used for fire suppression. Its role is to cool the fire and to coat the fuel, preventing its contact with oxygen, resulting in suppression of combustion. Fire fighting foam was invented by the Russian engineer and chemist Alexander Loran in 1902. He was a teacher in a school in Baku, which was the main center of the Russian oil industry at that time. Impressed by the terrible and hardly extinguishable oil fires that he had seen there, Loran tried to find such a liquid substance that could deal effectively with the problem, and so he invented his fire fighting foam. 1903 Theoretical Foundations of Spaceflight by Konstantin Tsiolkovsky 1903 Cytoskeleton 1903 Motor Ship the Russian tanker Vandal was the world's first diesel powered ship. 1904 Radio jamming 1904 Foam extinguisher The first such extinguisher was produced in 1904 by Alexander Loran, who invented fire fighting foam two years before. 1905 Auscultatory blood pressure measurement by Nikolai Korotkov 1905 Korotkov sounds 1905 Insubmersibility by Alexei Krylov and Stepan Makarov 1906 Electric Seismometer by Boris Borisovich Galitzin 1907 Arisani – Snowmobile 1907 Pulsejet 1907 Bayan 1907 Church of the Savior on Blood The church contains over 7,500 square meters of mosaics — according to its restorers, more than any other church in the world. 1910s 1910 Polybutadiene The first commercially viable synthetic rubber by Sergei Lebedev. 1910 Montage filmmaking or Kuleshov effect by Lev Kuleshov 1910 Non-Aristotelian logic by Nikolai Vasilyev 1911 Knapsack parachute by Gleb Kotelnikov 1911 Television by Boris Rosing and Vladimir Zworykin 1911 Stanislavski's system a progression of techniques used to train actors to draw believable emotions to their performances. The method that was originally created and used by Konstantin Stanislavsky from 1911 to 1916 was based on the concept of emotional memory for which an actor focuses internally to portray a character's emotions on stage. 1913 Zaum 
Zalm Russian, Z -A -acute -um, is a word used to describe the linguistic experiments in sound symbolism and language creation of Russian futurist poets such as Velimir Klebnikov and Alexei Krutchenik. 1913 Airliner Rusky Vityaz by Igor Sikorsky 1913 Half Track Also known as Kegres Track, invented by Adolf Kegres. 1914 Aerobatics by Pyotr Nesterov, independently from Adolf Pegaud 1914 Gyrocar By Pyotr Shilovsky 1914 Tachanka By Nestor Makhno according to some sources 1914 Strategic Bomber Sikorsky Ilya Maramets by Igor Sikorsky 1914 Aerial Ramming By Pyotr Nesterov 1915 Activated Charcoal Gas Mask by Nikolai Zielinski, independently from James Burt Garner 1915 Vezdacode Vezdacode was the first prototype Caterpillar tank, or tankette, and the first continuous track amphibious ATV. It was invented by Alexander Porokovshikov in 1915. The word Vezdacode means, he who goes anywhere, or all-terrain vehicle. 1915 Tsar tank this eccentric design differed from modern tanks in that it did not use caterpillar tracks, rather it used a wheeled tricycle design. The two front spoked wheels were nearly 9 meters 27 feet in diameter, the back wheel was smaller, only 1.5 meters 5 feet high. 1916 Trans-Siberian Railway The longest railway in the world. 1916 Optophonic Piano Topic. Soviet Union Topic. Late 1910s 1917 Socialist Realism A style of realistic art which was developed in the Soviet Union and became a dominant style in other socialist countries. 1918 Air Ionizer by Alexander Chishesky 1918 Budanovka by Viktor Vasnetsov 1918 Ushanka 1918 Jet Pack not built 1919 Film School 1919 Theremin by Leon Theremin 1919 Constructivism art an artistic and architectural philosophy which was a rejection of the idea of autonomous art the movement was in favor of art as a practice for social purposes topic 1920s 1920s constructivist architecture A form of modern architecture that flourished in the Soviet Union in the 1920s and early 1930s. It combined advanced technology and engineering with an avowedly communist social purpose. 1921 Aerial refueling by Alexander P. de Seversky 1923 Iconoscope by Vladimir Zworykin 1923 Pollock Miniature Also Russian lacquer art, Kolui Miniature, Emstora Miniature 1924 Flying Wing By Boris Cherenovsky 1924 Optophonic Piano By Vladimir Baranov Rossin 1924 Stem Cells By Alexander Maximo 1924 Primordial Soup Hypothesis By Alexander Aparin 1925 Interlaced Video Interlaced video is a technique of doubling the perceived frame rate introduced with the composite video signal used with analog television without consuming extra bandwidth. It was first demonstrated by Leon Theremin in 1925.1926 Graphical Sound by Pavel Tager and Alexander Shorin 1927 Light Emitting Diode by Oleg Losev 1927 Polikarpov PO2 Biplane the most produced biplane in the world. 1928 Gene Pool. 1928 Rabage. Rabage or Raffinobrassica, was the first ever non sterile hybrid obtained through the crossbreeding, which was an important step in biotechnology. It was produced by Georgi Karpachenko in 1928. 1929 Cadaveric blood transfusion. By Sergei Yudin 1929 Kinescope. By Vladimir Zvorykin 1929 Pobedit Pobedit is a specialized alloy that is close in hardness to diamond 85 to 90 on the Rockwell scale. It was created in the USSR in 1929 and was used in mining, metal cutting and as a material for special mechanical parts. 
Later a number of similar alloys have been developed. 1929 Teletank – Military robot 1930s Spring-loaded camming device By Vitaly Abolikov Abolikov thread climbing device By Vitaly Abolikov electric rocket motor By Valentin Glushko 1930s modern ship hull design Vladimir Yorkovich invented the modern ship hull design when he designed the SS Normandy. 1930 blood bank 1930 single lift rotor helicopter Designed by Boris N. Yuryev and Alexei M. Cherimukhin of Sagi, the Sagi 1 EA was flown by Cherimukhin to an unofficial altitude record of 605 meters (1,985 feet) in August 1932.1930 paratrooping. Russian airborne troops, the first and largest in the world, 1931 pressure suit. By Yevgeny Chertovsky, 1931 hypergolic rocket propellants. By Valentin Glushko 1931 Rhythmicon – Drum Machine By Leon Theremin, the first drum machine 1931 Flame Tank KHT-261932 Postconstructivism A transitional architectural style that existed in the Soviet Union in the 1930s, typical of early Stalinist architecture before World War II.1932 Postal Code 1932 Children's Railway 1932 Terpsit 1 By Leon Theremin 1932 Underwater Welding By Konstantin Krenov 1933 Human Kidney Transplant 1933 Sampling Theorem By Vladimir Kotelnikov 1933 Tandem Rotor Helicopter By Nikolai Florin 1933 Stalinist Architecture also referred to as Stalinist Gothic, or Socialist Classicism, is a term given to architecture of the Soviet Union under the leadership of Joseph Stalin. 1934 Tupolev Ant 20 Purpose designed propaganda aircraft, the largest aircraft in 1930s 1934 Cherenkov detector. Cherenkov radiation was discovered in 1934 by Pavel Cherenkov 1935 Kirza. Kirza is a type of artificial leather based on the multi-layer textile fabric, modified by membrane-like substances, produced mainly in the Soviet Union and Russia as a cheap and effective replacement for natural leather. The surface of Kirza imitates pig leather. The material is mainly used in production of military boots and belts for machinery and automobiles. The name Kirza is an acronym from Kirovsky Zavid Kirov plant, located in the city of Kirov, which was the first place of the mass production of Kirza. The technology was invented in 1935 by Ivan Plotnikov and improved in 1941. Since that time Kirza boots became a typical element of the uniform in the Soviet and Russian Army. 1935 Moscow Metro The Moscow Metro, which spans almost the entire Russian capital, is the world's second most heavily used metro system after the Tokyo's twin subway, and the most heavily used single operator metro system. Opened in 1935, it is well known for the ornate design of many of its stations, which contain numerous examples of socialist realist art. 1935 Kremlin Stars 1936 Acoustic Microscopy 1936 Airborne Firefighting 1937 Artificial Heart by Vladimir Demikov. It was transplanted to a dog. 1937 Modern Evolutionary Synthesis by Theodosius Dobzhansky 1937 Superfluidity By Pyotr Kapitsa, with John F. Allen and Don Missiner 1937 Drag Chute The drag chute or braking parachute is an application of the drogue parachute for decreasing the landing distance of an aircraft below that available solely from the aircraft's brakes. For the first time drag chutes were used in 1937 by the Soviet airplanes in the Arctic that provided support for the famous polar expeditions of the era. The drag chute allowed safe landings on small ice flows. 1937 Manned Drifting Ice Station Soviet and Russian manned drifting ice stations are important contributors to exploration of the Arctic. An idea to use the drift ice for the exploration of nature in the high latitudes of the Arctic Ocean belongs to Fridtjof Nansen, who fulfilled it on Fram between 1893 and 1896. 
However, the first stations to be placed right upon the drifting ice originated in the Soviet Union in 1937, when the first such station in the world, North Pole 1, started operating. More drifting ice stations were organized after World War II, and many special equipment was developed for them, such as the elevated tents to be placed on the melting ice and indicators monitoring the ice cracks. 1937 Welded Sculpture Welded sculpture is an art form in which sculpture is made using welding techniques. The first such sculpture was the famous worker and Kolkhoz woman by Vera Mukhina. Initially it was placed atop the Soviet pavilion at the 1937 World's Fair in Paris. The choice of welding method was explained by a giant size of the sculpture, and also was intended to demonstrate the innovative Soviet technologies. 1937 Fire Fighting Sport Fire fighting sport is a sport discipline that includes a competition between various fire fighting teams in fire fighting related exercises, such as climbing special stairs in a mock up house, unfolding a water hose, and extinguishing a fire using hoses or extinguishers. It was developed in the Soviet Union in 1937, while international competitions have taken place since 1968. 1937 to 1957 ANS synthesizer 1938 deep column station The deep column station is a type of subway station consisting of a central hall with two side halls connected by ring like passages between a row of columns Depending on the type of station the rings transmit load to the columns either by wedged arches or through purlins forming a column purlin complex the fundamental advantage of the column station is the significantly greater connection between the halls, compared with a pylon station. The first deep column station in the world is Mayakovskaya, designed by Alexei Dushkin and opened in 1938 in Moscow Metro. 1938 Sambo Sambo, an acronym, Sambo stands for Samuborona bez oruja, meaning, self defense without weapons is modern martial art, combat sport and self-defense system developed in the Soviet Union and recognized as an official sport by the USSR All-Union Sports Committee in 1938, presented by Anatoly Karlampiev. 1939 Kurlian Photography by Semyon Kurlian 1939 Vatsikorsky VS-300 the world's first tail rotor helicopter and first amphibious helicopter by Igor Sikorsky. 1939 Ilyushin Il-2 the world's most produced combat aircraft. 1939 Self propelled multiple rocket launcher, Katyusha rocket launcher. 1940s 1940s Ballast cleaner, 1940s TRIZ, 1940s Sikorsky R 4. The R-4 was the world's first mass-produced helicopter and the first helicopter used by the United States Army Air Forces, Navy, Coast Guard, and the United Kingdom's Royal Air Force and Royal Navy. 1940 T-34 tank By Mikhail Koshkin, the most produced tank of World War II 1941 Competitive Rhythmic Gymnastics 1941 Maksutov Telescope by Dmitry Dmitrievich Maksutov 1941 degaussing By Anatoly Petrovich Alexandrov, independently from Charles F. Goodeve 1942 winged tank Antonov A-40 by Oleg Antonov 1942 Gramosidon S By Georgi Gaz 1944 Microtron 1944 EPR spectroscopy by Yevgeny Zavoysky 1945 T-54 55ths tank World's most produced tank 1945 Passive Resonant Cavity Bug By Leon Theremin 1946 Heart Lung Transplant By Vladimir Demikov 1947 Modern Multistage Rocket By Mikhail Tikhonrovov and Dmitry Okotsimsky 1947 MiG-15 World's most produced jet aircraft 1947 AK-47 The AK-47 other names include Avtomat Kalashnikova, Kalashnikov, or AK is a selective fire, gas-operated 7.62 times 39 mm assault rifle, developed in the Soviet Union by Mikhail Kalashnikov. The AK-47 was one of the first true assault rifles. It has been manufactured in many countries and has seen service with regular armed forces as well as irregular, revolutionary and terrorist organizations worldwide. 
Even after six decades, due to its durability, low production cost and ease of use, the original AK-47 and its numerous variants are the most widely used and popular assault rifles in the world. More AK-type rifles have been produced than all other assault rifles combined. 1947 lung transplant by Vladimir Demikov 1947 light beam microphone the technique of using a light beam to remotely record sound probably originated with Leon Theremin in the Soviet Union at or before 1947, when he developed and used the Buran eavesdropping system. This worked by using a low-power infrared beam not a laser from a distance to detect the sound vibrations in the glass windows. Lavrenti Buria, head of the KGB, used this Buran device to spy on the U.S., British, and French embassies in Moscow 1949 staged combustion cycle Alexei Isayev proposed the staged combustion cycle widely used in rocket engines. 1949 Reactive armor 1950s <laughs> 1950s head transplant The first head transplant with full cerebral function by Vladimir Demikov 1950s Magnetotelurics by Andrei Nikolaevich Tikhonov 1950 MESM the first universally programmable electronic computer in continental Europe, developed by Sergei Lebedev. 1950 Berkovich tip. 1951 Belisov Jabotinsky reaction. 1951 Explosively pumped flux compression generator. 1952 Macers. Invention of the first Macers by Nikolai Basiv and Alexander Prokhorov who later shared the Nobel Prize in Physics for invention and development of laser technologies with Charles Townes. 1957 Sisters Moscow 1952 Carbon Nanotubes A 2006 editorial written by Mark Monthu and Vladimir Kuznetsov in the journal Carbon described the interesting and often misstated origin of the carbon nanotube. A large percentage of academic and popular literature attributes the discovery of hollow, nanometer-sized tubes composed of graphitic carbon to Sumio Ijima of NEC in 1991. In 1952 L. V. Radushkovich and V. M. Lukyanovich published clear images of 50 nanometer diameter tubes made of carbon in the Soviet Journal of Physical Chemistry. This discovery was largely unnoticed, as the article was published in the Russian language, and Western scientists' access to Soviet press was limited during the Cold War. It is likely that carbon nanotubes were produced before this date, but the invention of the transmission electron microscope TEM, allowed direct visualization of these structures. 1952 Anthropometric cosmetology or Ilazarov apparatus by Gavril Ilazarov 1954 Nuclear power plant Obninsk nuclear power plant by Igor Kurshatov 1955 MiG-21 World's most produced supersonic aircraft. 1955 Ballistic missile submarine R-11 Zemlya submarine launched ballistic missile by Viktor Makiv, Project 611 ballistic missile submarine 1955 fast neutron reactor BN-350 nuclear fast reactor. 1955 Leningrad Metro 1955 Tokamak The Tokamak T 4 was tested in 1968 in Novosibirsk, conducting the first ever quasi stationary thermonuclear fusion reaction. The first actual experimental Tokamak was built in 1955. The Tokamak design plays the basic role in modern projects for power generation based on thermonuclear fusion like ITER. 1957 ANS synthesizer, 1957 Synchrophasetron 1957 Spaceport Baikonur Cosmodrome Launch Complex by Vladimir Barman 1957 Intercontinental Ballistic Missile The world's first successful intercontinental ballistic missile, R-7 Semyorka, was developed under supervision of Sergei Korolyov between 1953–1957.1957 Orbital Space Rocket the world's first successful intercontinental ballistic missile, as well as a first space rocket and expendable launch system, R-7 Semyorka, was developed under supervision of Sergei Korolyov between 1953–1957.1957 Artificial Satellite Sputnik 1, the first Earth-orbiting artificial satellite. 
It was launched into an elliptical low Earth orbit by the Soviet Union on 4 October 1957, and was the first in a series of satellites collectively known as the Sputnik program. 1957 Space Capsule Sputnik 21957 Rakita Hydrofoil By Rostislav Alekhai of 1958 Modern Ternary Computer Setin, by Nikolai Bruzentsov 1959 Nuclear Icebreaker a nuclear-powered icebreaker is a purpose-built ship with nuclear propulsion for use in waters continuously covered with ice. Nuclear-powered icebreakers are far more powerful than their diesel-powered counterparts, and have been constructed by Russia primarily to aid shipping in the frozen Arctic waterways in the north of Siberia, along the Northern Sea Route. NS Lenin was the world's first nuclear icebreaker, launched in 1957 at the Admiralty Shipyard and completed in 1959.1959 Space Probe. Luna 1, also the first escape velocity spacecraft and the first Sun satellite. 1959 Missile Boat, Comer class missile boat 1959 Klimenko cycle, 1959 Staged combustion cycle. 1960s 1960s rocket boots 1960 re-entry capsule Sputnik 51961 human spaceflight Vostok 1 Russian, Vostok-1, Orient 1 or East 1 was the first human spaceflight. The Vostok 3 kA spacecraft was launched on April 12, 1961, taking into space Yuri Gagarin, a cosmonaut from the Soviet Union. The Vostok 1 mission was the first time anyone had journeyed into outer space and the first time anyone had entered into orbit. The Vostok 1 was launched by the Soviet space program and supervised by the Soviet rocket scientist Sergei Korolev. 1961 RPG 7 1961 Laurentium Co-discovered at the Dubna Nuclear Research Institute and Lawrence Berkeley Laboratory 1961 Anti-Ballistic Missile By Pyotr Grushin 1961 Space Food 1961 Space Suit 1961 Tsar Bomb The most powerful weapon ever tested. The Tsar Bomba was a three-stage Teller Ulam design hydrogen bomb with a yield of 50 to 58 megatons of TNT, 210 to 240 petajoules. This is equivalent to about 1,350 to 1,570 times the combined power of the bombs that destroyed Hiroshima and Nagasaki, 10 times the combined power of all the conventional explosives used in World War II, or one quarter of the estimated yield of the 1883 eruption of Krakatoa, and 10% of the combined yield of all nuclear tests to date. 1961 Platform Screen Doors Park Pobedi, St. Petersburg Metro, 1961 Akranoplan By Rostislav Alekhai of 1961 Mil Mi 8 The world's most produced helicopter 1962 Detonation Nanodiamond 1962 AVL Tree Data Structure 1962 3D Holography By Yuri Denisuk 1962 Modern Stealth Technology by Petr Ufimsev 1963 Oxygen Cocktail 1964 Rutherfordium 1964 Druzhba Pipeline The longest oil pipeline system in the world 1964 Plasma Propulsion Engine Pulsed Plasma Thruster 1964 Kardashev of Scale 1965 Extra Vehicular Activity 1965 Molnia Orbit Satellite 1965 Voitenko Compressor 1965 Proton Rocket The most used heavy lift launch system 1965 Air Augmented Rocket By Boris Chavrin 1966 Nobelium 1966 Lander Spacecraft Luna 9 by Georgi Babakin 1966 Orbiter Luna 101966 Regional Jet the Yakovlev Yak-40 was the world's first regional jet. 1966 Caspian Sea Monster The largest Akranoplan and the second largest fixed-wing aircraft by Rostislav Alekhai of 1966 Soyuz Rocket 
According to the European Space Agency, the Soyuz launch vehicle is the most frequently used and most reliable launch vehicle in the world. 1966 Orbital Module Soyuz Spacecraft 1967 Space Toilet Soyuz Spacecraft 1967 Ostankino Tower 1967 The Motherland Calls 1967 Computer for Operations with Functions 1967 Automated Space Docking Cosmos 186 and Cosmos 1881967 Venus Lander Venera 41968 Dubnium 1968 Mil Mi 12 The largest helicopter ever built. 1968 Supersonic Transport Tupolev 2144-1969 Comet 67P, Churyumov Gerasimenko By Klim Churyumov and Svetlana Gerasimenko 1969 Intercontinental Submarine Launched Ballistic Missile R-29 Vasada 1970s 1970s Semiconductor Heterostructures Creation by Zors Alferov of semiconductor heterostructures which play important role in modern electronics Nobel Prize in Physics in 2000, 1970s Radial Keratotomy By Svyatoslav Fyodorov 1970 Eximer Laser 1970 Robotic Sample Return Luna 161970 Space Rover Lunokhod 1, the first space exploration rover, reached the Moon surface on November 17, 1970. 1971 Space Station Salyut 1, Dose 1 Russian, Salu 1, English, Salute 1 was launched April 19, 1971. It was the first space station to orbit Earth. Developed under supervision of Vladimir Chelomi. 1971 Kaisa Chess Program Kaisa became the first computer chess world champion in 1974.1972 Hall Effect Thruster 1972 Mil Mi 24 1972 Nuclear Desalination BN350 Reactor 1973 Reflectron By Boris Alexandrovich Mamarin 1973 Skull Crucible the first commercially viable process to manufacture cubic zirconia. 1974 Electron cooling Electron cooling was invented by Gersh Budker in 1966 as a way to increase luminosity of hadron colliders. It was first tested in 1974 with 68 MeV protons at Nap M storage ring at INP.1975 Underwater Assault Rifle. APS Underwater Assault Rifle by Vladimir Simonov 1975 Arktika class icebreaker The Arktika class is a Russian and former Soviet class of the world's most powerful nuclear icebreakers. Its pilot ship, NS Arktika, was the second Soviet nuclear icebreaker, completed in 1975. She became the first surface ship to reach the North Pole, on August 17, 1977. 1975 Androgynous Peripheral Attach System By Vladimir Siramiatnikov 1976 Close in Weapon System AK-6301976 Mobile ICBM RT-21 Temp 2S by Alexander Nadiradza 1977 Vertical Launching System First installed on Azov, a Kara-class cruiser 1977 Kirov-class battlecruiser the Kirov class battle cruisers of the Russian Navy are the largest and heaviest surface combatant warships, i.e., not an aircraft carrier, assault ship, or submarine currently in active operation in the world. 1978 Unmanned Resupply Spacecraft, 1978 Active Protection System, Drozd System, 1979 Space Based Radio Telescope, The KRT 10 Radio Observatory, RU, Kurt 10. 1980s 1980s Kalina cycle Invented and patented in the 1980s by Russian engineer Alexander Kalina. 
His invention included the first time development of a contiguous set of ammonia water mixture thermodynamic properties, which provide the basis for unique power plant designs for different forms of power generation from different heat sources. 1980s EHF therapy by Nikolai Devetkov and Mikhail Golan. 1980 Typhoon class submarine, the largest submarine ever built. 0.1981 Quantum dot 1981 Tupolev Tu 160. The Tupolev Tu-160 is a supersonic, variable geometry heavy bomber designed by the Soviet Union. Although several civil and military transport aircraft are bigger, the Tu-160 has the greatest total thrust, and the heaviest takeoff weight of any combat aircraft, and the highest top speed as well as one of the largest payloads of any current heavy bomber. Pilots of the Tu-160 call it the White Swan, due to its maneuverability and anti-flash white finish. 1982 Helicopter Ejection Seat Kamov Ka 501984 Tetris By Alexei Pajitnov 1986 Modular Space Station Mir Space Station 1987 Mir Submersible The first to reach the seabed under the North Pole Developed in cooperation with Finland. 1987 Road 170 rocket engine. The world's most powerful liquid fuel rocket engine. 1988 Buran. 1988 and 225. The largest fixed wing aircraft ever built. 1989 Kola Superdeep Borehole. The deepest borehole in the world. 1989 Supermaneuverability. Suhoi Su-27, Pugachev's Cobra Maneuver.1989 Tupolev Tu-155 The world's first aircraft to use liquid hydrogen as fuel. Topic. Early 1990s 1989-1991 BARS Apparatus 1991 Thermoplan the Thermoplan is a disc-shaped airship of hybrid type, currently under development in Russia. The key feature of Thermoplan is its two-section structure. The main section of the airship is filled with helium, while the other section is filled with air that can be heated or cooled by the engines. This design greatly improves the maneuverability, alongside the disc shape which helps resist the powerful winds up to 20 meters per second. The projet was started in the late 1980s and the early 1990s, with the first working prototype tested in 1991. That was rather small airship, and the giant thermoplan wasn't built at that time due to the problems caused by the economy crisis of the 1990s. In the late 2000s decade, the project was revived under the name Lokomoskiner by the Russian company Lokomoski in Ulanovska.1991 Scramjet. The Central Institute of Aviation Motors CIAM KHOLOD Hypersonic Flying Laboratory. First successful supersonic combustion ramjet flight demonstration. <laughs> Russian Federation 1990s Road 180 engine Dual combustion chamber, dual nozzle rocket engine, derived from the Rode 170 used in Soviet Zenit rockets, and currently provides first stage power for the American Atlas V launch vehicle. 1992 Z Namiya Space Mirror. 1992 Nuclatron. Nuclatron is the world's first superconductive synchrotron, exploited by the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Dubna, Moscow Oblast. This particle accelerator is based on a miniature iron-shaped field superconductive magnets, and has a particle energy up to 7 GeV. It was built in 1987-1992 as a part of Dubna Synchrophasatron Modernization Program the nucleotron ring follows the outer perimeter of the synchrophasatron ring, five runs of about 1,400 hours total duration have been provided by the present time. The most important experiments tested the cryomagnetic system of a novel type, and obtained data on nuclear collisions using internal target. 1993 RAR by Eugene Rochel 1997 Two level single vault transfer station, Sportivnaya St. Petersburg Metro 1998 Berea B 200. Four retractable water scoops, two forward and two aft of the fuselage step can be used to scoop a total of 12 tons of water in 14 seconds. 1998 Submarine-launched spacecraft 
Russian submarine K-407 Novomoskosk, Shtil by Igor Pavlov 1999 Sea Launch by Igor Spassky, Multinational Cooperation 1999 Florovium 2000s 2000s Heterotransistor by Zors Alfiorov with Herbert Cromer 2000 Livermorium 2000 Abstract State Machine 2001 Space Tourism 2001 Mirny Mine The largest diamond mine in the world and the second largest human made excavation. 2001 Superconducting Nanowire Single Photon Detector 2003 Park Pobedi Metro Escalators Longest Metro Escalators 2003 Nihonium 2003 Moscovium 2004 Graphene Creation of Graphene by Konstantin Novoselov and Andrei Geim. They were awarded with Nobel Prize in Physics for this discovery in 2010.2005 Orbitrap by Alexander Makarov 2006 Oganesson 2007 NS50 Let Pobedi NS50 Let Pobedi is the world's largest nuclear-powered icebreaker, and the largest icebreaker in general. The keel was originally laid in 1989 by Baltic Works of Leningrad now St. Petersburg, and the ship was launched in 1993 as the NS Ural, while completed in 2007 under a new name. This icebreaker is the sixth and last of the Arktika class. The vessel was put into service by Murmansk Shipping Company, which manages all eight Russian state-owned nuclear icebreakers. 2007 Father of all bombs. Aviation thermobaric bomb of increased power, nicknamed Father of all bombs, is a Russian-made air-delivered, land-activated thermobaric weapon, the most powerful conventional non-nuclear weapon in the world. The bomb was successfully field-tested in the late evening of September 11, 2007. According to the Russian military, the new weapon will replace several smaller types of nuclear bombs in its arsenal. 2008 Denisovans. The third discovered kind of human. Topic 2010s. 2010 Chat Roulette. The first randomized webcam chatroom. 2010 Tennessee. 2011 Nuclear Power Station Barge. The first mass-produced portable nuclear power station 2011 Nord Stream. The longest offshore pipeline 2011 SPEKTRR. Space-based radio telescope with the highest angular resolution radio Astron project. 2012 Rusky Island Bridge. The longest cable stayed bridge 2016 T14 Armada. Topic. See also. List of Russian inventors Category – Russian inventions List of Russian scientists Russian culture Topic. References Topic. External links Russian inventions, Rusky Izobritenia i Otkrusha on YouTube